What is going on guys and today I'm bringing you a brand new set of FIFA 20 trading methods. Once again it's Friday so this is the top 5 of the week. So these are 5 methods that I found over the past 7 days that are the best of those methods that I've been doing. So obviously of all my videos where I've been doing sort of 3 a day, these are the best 5. If you do enjoy the video make sure to drop a like down below. If you are new around here make sure to subscribe and of course turn notifications on. If you haven't seen it already I've done the cheapest way on how to do the recent team of the week SPC so go check that out as well. But without further ado let's get into the trading so guys today's video is sponsored by top cashback at the minute they have an insane deal to get you 2200 FIFA points for 99p if you are a new customer from the uk all you're going to want to do is click on the link in the description to top cashback site and then sign up there and once you're there you want to go over to game and find 2200 fifa points once you purchase that it's 15.99 and they will return 15 pounds to your account as a cashback <laughs> So obviously, as you guys can see, we're back with Edda Militao. The footage in the background is sped up a little bit because I didn't want to have 20 minutes of footage for a five minute video. Now, as you can see, Edda Militao has actually gone up in price again because his card was out of packs due to his road to the final card being in packs, which means over the next week, he is going to slowly deteriorate back to what he was about a week or so ago, which means brilliant news for us people are going to be undercutting his price again which is what always happens and that's why he's usually in my top five of the week because for some reason his card keeps changing price and we keep wanting to go back to him so i don't want you guys to think i'm reusing methods or anything but this guy is insane to snipe at the minute as you can see i pick up like seven or eight cards in the footage alone that i have and this is obviously quite sped up so this is over like sort of five minutes but it was really easy to pick him up it's really easy to make a big profit off him you're getting cards for like 4k when he's going for 5.6 <laughs> you can always get cards for 5k you can always get cards for way way less than he's actually meant to be going for so you guys will make a ton of this guy i know as usual and like many of the players in this video you're not looking at a ridiculous budget we've only really got one high budget player in the video and to be honest i think that's the best way to do it use low budget methods make the small profits because you always make a ton of coins off that and i don't see why more people don't do it so going with the theme of Brazilian defenders, we have Juan Jesus, another player with a road to the final card, and this is it. So the road to the final card here, you can pick it up pretty much from anything under 38k. It's actually going to go up in value over the next week because it is now no longer in packs. Now that means people are still going to undercut it. It's either way it works. When cards go up and down, it helps traders because realistically, if he's going up in price, people are going to start for accidentally putting him up for his previous price if they bought it before and haven't checked the market. It. so you might make a few thousand coins there you might be able to pick them up sort of a few k under anyway because people are believing that people aren't really buying him he's not really going for a lot but he actually is he's a reasonably good defender if Roma actually get to a decent stage in there in the Europa League he'll actually be a very good card but it's obviously unlikely the same with some of the SBCs that have came out obviously you got William Willie won't he upgrade we never know and then obviously the one out today Gomez there's literally no chance of him actually upgrading so the road to the final players have been quite questionable this one is a safe bet and a really good one to snipe which is why he is at the second spot for the top five trades of the week Moving on to the basic Premier League method. Obviously, this one is one of the best methods you'll come across on any FIFA. It works every single year without fail and really does make you a ton of coins. So the actual best way to use this, as I showed in the midweek, is actually you can use this as a bidding method. So obviously mass bid on every player that's going for anything under 350 coins. And once you get them, you're probably looking at a couple thousand coins profit. I mean, if you actually spent like an hour doing it, you'd probably make over 100K, but it's obviously a long time to spend mass bidding the other way is obviously just buying them for 400 coins and selling them on and that obviously makes you a ton as well which is why it's at the third spot this week and to be honest i think it's going to end up at a spot every year because realistically every year this method is one of the best and until the premier league doesn't become the sort of the natural team that everyone makes it's still going to be the best method moving on to one of the more expensive players we've got handanovic now he went up because of the syria objectives in the icon swaps and he's still going up a bit and you're still able to snipe him and really get a decent amount of profit of him i'd say about you're looking at around a thousand to two thousand coins per snipe in terms of how much profit you'll make off the cards obviously the first one there you see i 
I got for 20k and sold for 23. That's a decent profit. This one here, I was only looking at around a few hundred coins, but you get the gist. You can really make a ton of him if you do get the right snipe, and that is why he has made the number four spot this week. Moving on to the player who I would debate is the best player to trade with this FIFA. I, I would say no, not even a chance there's anyone who comes close. Digny is ridiculous. His normal card, you can make so many coins and I don't understand why. But as you can see here, constantly people list him at 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 under what he should be. And I will never understand it. But he is the most tradable card this year. And I, I will say that on record. I do think he is one of the best players to snipe. If I was ever going to sit down and snipe for a day or an hour or a really long period of time trying to make as many coins as possible, this is the guy I'd go with because he really, really does always get undercut i have no idea why but he's constantly changing in value and it works so well for methods if you have enjoyed guys make sure to drop a like down below subscribe if you are new and i will see you guys in the next one